I love my old Epson LQ500 printer. It's dot matrix. Very cheap to run. This is old fashioned ribbon cartridges. So it's extremely cheap to run. Which I really like. The other thing I like is that it doesn't dry up. I mean, you can buy a new ribbon for like three bucks. Whereas with an inkjet printer, you, if you leave it sit for several months, it's gonna, all your inks are gonna be dried up. You'll have to buy a huge expense of ink to get it running again. And then you're taking a gamble that it will run again. I see sometimes they don't. Anyway, so I've been resistant to get rid of this printer or do anything different. I can't find a generic 24 pin driver for Windows uh, 10. I ran this on all my Windows computers up till 10, and with 10, I just can't get a driver to even be acknowledged. I've looked up uh, generic, you know, 24 pin drivers, but none of them are actually for Windows 10, apparently, because they it doesn't take them, it just ignores them. So I'm kind of SOL. I, I'm still holding out hope that I'll get this to run. I, like I said, I put a parallel interface in my new computer when I built it, and when I fire up the computer, it communicates with the printer. The printer chirps, you know, it recognizes that the uh, computer's gone online, and it, it chirps away, so it's obviously got connection, but the computer totally ignores it, you know, Windows totally ignores it. So I've been sort of SOL on printing lately. When I had to print something for my last taxes, I went to the library and had it printed, and I've just been preparing to print a bunch of stuff. I've got a whole backlog of stuff I need to print. I've been thinking of getting a laser printer probably monochrome, although I've been considering color, though the colors aren't quite photographic quality unless you go way up in price. And the monochrome would let me print transfers to make circuit boards. But like someone pointed out to me, you know, are you really going to do that when PC boards are so cheap now? These mills are so cheap. You get your PC boards made somewhere else. Am I really going to bother? Of course, i got to learn CAD to do that, but I really need to learn CAD either way. At any rate, I went to Ollie's today to uh, pick up some other items, and I saw this printer for 29 bucks, $32 of ink. I'm actually making money. <laughs> and it's double box. Which is good. Double boxing is the best way to package anything. It was sealed, refurbished in the USA. I figured it was a refurb. And this is open. I didn't see it. The outer was sealed, but this is open. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll come back with a report on whether or not it worked <laughs> in a minute here. I'm lift it out of this thing. And there it is. Upside down, I think. And there she is unpacked a bit. Comes with two XL size cartridges. And um, I guess the color must be a Unity color, not black, I'm guessing. It has a scanner function. A sheet of paper to put in there to calibrate it. Put in there carefully. That could be handy. I don't have any kind of scanner. So that alone might make it worth the entry here. A lot of times I'd like to be able to scan. I guess I gotta put this ink in. And it comes with a pretty good manual. That last sheet was the last page of this manual with the step three. So yeah, let's get started. Pretty much looks simple anyway. I'll we'll see how it is when I go through it. What else have I got in here? Some fine print. Guarantee in Spanish. I eventually got this printer to work. I tried following their instructions for the setting up the Wi-Fi and I guess I don't know my password as well as I thought I did or something. I don't know. I couldn't get it to connect. Uh, 
But I know about the button on the router thing. I set up other printers that way for other people, and but they didn't mention that in the instructions. But I went through the menus, and eventually I found a setting, kind of oddly named, like security or something like that, and uh, that let me do it. The push button on router thing. This is a. Uh, the print itself was kind of a washed out photo, so I, maybe it's a bad example, but it's a pretty good uh, rendering of the photo. Bottom is cut off. I, I could use longer paper to print this whole image. Probably the bottom 20% is gone. That's why the bottom edge is like this. And it's not photographic paper. The uh, image on the screen looks a little bit greener. And so it's working pretty well at long last. It didn't come with a cable, unfortunately, a USB cable. And it's got a real odd end on this side. I don't know if it's like a female C or something. But uh, I didn't even, I'm not sure what you took into that thing. It's not a B. It's not an old A. I don't know. It didn't come with a cable, which is my preferred way to hook it up. So on Wi-Fi, at least for now. This uh, bench isn't very stable. When it's printing, it actually shakes. <laughs> I don't know if it's any good for the printer. It doesn't seem to disturb the printer any. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's easier or harder on the printer letting it shake. But no big jakes. Well, that's what you get for a $29 printer. Pretty good.